So we are here at Carbona Campground, which is located on some BLM land out of Gardner, Montana. And basically it's a fishing access and you come into this really rocky road and then you drive around until you find a campsite alongside the river. And you can see that there are rocks in the road, they're everywhere. So you do have to be careful. Um, if you have tires that are not heavy duty, I really don't recommend this particular spot. But it is a beautiful, beautiful view. Uh, you can see all the mountains around. You can see the campers down there. And there's everything from fifth wheels to camper vans that have popped in here. Um, today it's quite windy, but we're right here on the Yellowstone River. And a great view. This is looking back towards Gardner um, through that pass. So great campground. Some of these sites have fire rings. And I think I saw a few picnic tables around as well. So bring your own firewood, set up camp, and you're literally right here on the river. Hello. Hello. Hi. What are you doing? Seeing my campfire. It's pretty <laughs> awesome. Seeing my campfire. We were playing on um, yes, the action. Charades. Charades. Is what it's called. Whatever Maddie. that is. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it's called. That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. We can do it tomorrow. Tomorrow we're or later we're gonna or tomorrow. Another um, day. <laughs> we're gonna make slips of paper and so we're gonna have the guess the activity. Well, you still have the guess activity, yeah. but you just choose one so you don't have to do Right, you get a slip of paper that tells you what you have to act out, right? Yeah. So we should do, we should say there there should be a response that says category or what it is and then do the, a person or something in it. So these are fun games you can play anywhere, including camping, right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. While boondocking on the north side of Yellowstone at Carbella Campground, we were able to visit the little town of Gardner where we got to eat some good food, we got to take care of our laundry, and use the public shower for the first time. We also visited the Roosevelt Arch, which is right outside of Gardner. Very famous spot for visiting Yellowstone. So stop by Gardner as you are visiting this area.
We chose this hike to get off the beaten path in Yellowstone. Most people just drive through and do the pull-offs, but to really see Yellowstone, you have to get out and walk on the trails. We felt that a moderate hike that's about 4.4 miles round trip would be an appropriate hike for our family. It got pretty steep at the top and Mom and Maddie needed a lot of encouragement to get to the top. So we made it and it was totally worth it. So get out and get on those trails and explore Yellowstone. I want to see y'all shirts. Hold on, hold on, turn around. Oh, you got your Yellowstone one on. <laughs> but Mama has Sloth Hiking Team. We'll get there when we get there. Well, and Maddie has hers as well. <laughs> it's just underneath her sweatshirt, which will probably come off pretty soon. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Already gave Mama a break. So it looks like we're going to go up and up and up and up. But it should have a beautiful view from the top. Mama's already set a good pace. So maybe she's just got good energy right now. Yep. You can play in the snow in July. <laughs> Throw another one, Maddie. <laughs> Cody almost busted his behind. Saw a little animal. <laughs> you almost got mama with that one. That one looked like it was going to hit the camera. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> that was a direct impact. Wow. <laughs> that one says smack. Oh! <laughs> I know. The So we're getting up here near the top on Bunsen Peak Trail. I think we're gonna see a pretty good view when we get to this corner. A couple of steep inclines through here. Oh yeah. Look out there. Alright, so we're almost to the summit. Got a little snow, be careful right here. It's slick.
made it up here to the top of Bunsen Peak. What a cool place. You can actually see the Tetons from up here. It is raining behind us. We're really hoping that doesn't catch us, but it might. So this hike was uh, about 2.1 miles, 2.2 miles up to the top. left our vehicle down below but uh what a worthwhile hike